good evening. Tonight on this 10th day of December, the show is tipping point and you're just in time for it. I am Lincoln Obogo, our sign language interpreters are Tracy Dorcas and Michael Mathia. Now, frontline soldiers in the war against COVID-19 are oozing blood in the battlefield, a battlefield in which they're supposed to serve as heroes, but instead are serving like slaves. We are in day four of the health workers' strike. It seems the government is not making any moves to sort this quagmire. Instead, the push for the BBI seems to take center stage in all conversations. To answer this question and to help dissect the BBI puzzle, joining me in studio tonight is Nambale Member of Parliament Bunyasi Sakwa and uh, Member of Parliament for Embakasi North James Gakuya and Charles Bilale, a politician, and Nurdin Kagai, a lawyer and governance expert. Catch a seat and engage us via our SMS line triple one triple four triple one or on my social media handles at link on Bogwen at Switch TV Kenya and to kick off is our question of the day. Should the Treasury fund the BBI process? Should the Treasury fund the BBI process? Let's keep this show as interactive as possible. We however spoke earlier to Nambale Member of Parliament Bunyasi Sakwa who first reacted to the recent statement by Rail Odinga about the health workers. Yeah, it's just something like, uh, um, uh, I, I don't know, I, I, don't, I can't call it verbatim, but uh, I think it was the fact that uh, uh, deaths have, have been occurring anyway, notwithstanding COVID. I think it was something like that. Is that accurate? It is. Yes. Um, I think that was, um, uh, everybody has a weak moment, and I think certainly that was a weak moment. Okay. I think it was a very weak moment on the part of um, the former prime minister. Is normally guarded. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how that came out, but it didn't come out right. I, he may have meant something different, but uh, just analysing it as it came out, uh, I think it was not. Uh, um, I, 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 I think it was uh, uh, not guarded enough as it should have been, uh, because uh, in a sense we were beginning to to cheapen not the doctors' importance. We were now in a sense cheapening even the BBI process uh, to say that something that seeks to provide. Uh, uh, leadership roles for Kenyans is much more important than the lives now. Uh, and as I said at the beginning of this interview, uh, there's nothing now more important in this country than managing the COVID crisis and think about the post-COVID crisis. Because let me assure you, it's going to change the way we relate, it's going to change the way we do things, it's going to change the way our economy will function or not function as it should. So then everything else can follow after we get that under control. We can't, uh, we can't keep, we can't keep a, even a, a blind eye, as it were. All our focus should be on COVID. And then other things will also, will also follow. I'm not saying we shouldn't do BBI. This can be done in the context. So that statement did not come out uh, well. It's almost indicated that the people are not caring about the negative impacts of uh, COVID. Um, and you know, in, we have had a few countries around the world in which uh, senior people, uh, head of state and others, have made, have, have sort of been reckless about how they, they consider the COVID situation, and it has not worked well. America will be one of those that will tell us about it. Uh, Boris Johnson, you see, you see the kind of uh, reactions that he was getting. Uh, so what you say means something. Senior leaders in our country, uh, I think the, the words need to be guarded. This is a tweet. Tweets are risky. If it is an audio, you can say that audio is not what I said, but this is a tweet. Yeah. yeah. So far, there's been no explicit appropriation, uh, uh, but I, I'm sure that you know they're, they're spending the money from somewhere. And government governments have ways sometimes in which uh, they may have uh, resources uh, within the budget, but not explicitly targeted to things. Uh, we make bigger locations to uh, OP, to security agencies, and so on, as, as we should, you know. Uh, uh, particularly the NIS, but all sorts of the president, for expenditures that, don't, that are not usually, sometimes not specified. And from those non-specified expenditures, they can probably uh, pick out some money. But as we go to the referendum, as it's formalized at the referendum, there will have to be an appropriation, an explicit appropriation. And hopefully, uh, in, that, in, in the documentation underlying that appropriation, there will be an explicit statement of how much money has now been used uh, and how much more is expected. As you know, uh, IBC has said that uh, a referendum will cost Kenyans, uh, I think he said uh, 14 billion, uh, my, my numbers may be off, but I think he said 14 billion. 
um, and other suggestions that it be uh, about one tenth of that, two billion or something like that. And uh, you remember that uh, Chepkati said, uh, IBC are the ones who know how much it costs. And the fact, he then began to say, it'd be in the range of 13 to 15 billion. So it's even going to be more than 14 uh, billion. That's a lot of money. Uh, probably Kenya can find that money and spend it. Um, in economics, you say, we talk about opportunity cost. What you would have done with the money as you decide to do something else? For example, you decide to do the referendum with 10 billion or 14 billion. The opportunity cost is what that money could have done. Now, if you look at the strike, the teachers have got, I mean, the, not the teachers, the, uh, the doctors have got, and the medical staff as a whole have got, 10 billion would push the agenda. Uh, I don't know why, how much their demands are, but it would be a significant contribution to meeting those costs. And we would have then attenuated, would have um, eased off uh, a very difficult situation and eased it off for the Wanjikus in, the, in this country. Yes, I've sponsored a bill um, as an ANC member of parliament, also with the uh, support of my party leader, Musalia Badavid, whom, as you know, has been very concerned about economic issues. And we, well, jointly, as a party, we decided that no, it's not just enough to complain about what's not being done. Um, let us put something on the table that can become a basis for discussion of one way in which you begin, you begin to fix these issues. Now, first of all, the public debt management bill will not stop borrowing. The idea is to rationalize, to situate the borrowing in a context in which um, the, 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 the economy has been analyzed properly to say these are the most ex essential expenditures that we as a nation need to have in this short term and medium term and long term. Uh, this is what you need to have short term, as in this year, this budget year, medium term, as in the next three budget years, uh, they call it the medium term expenditure framework, the next three, three budget years. And you keep rolling three years, three years ahead. And then there'll be long term, how we do our, our roads, uh, our highways, our dams, and so on, that will take you know, 10 years to implement or five to ten years to implement, that's probably long term. And when you look at that, I don't have agreed these are the most essential expenditures, you now come back and say, how do we also deal with, how shall we finance it? First and foremost, you look at how the nation itself can finance it, in, before you go to anybody's money, grant or, or, or loan, and you say, are we, is KRA collecting monies optimally? Uh, not maximizing, but optimal, meaning that uh, you, see, you can't kill, you know, the, the goose that lays the golden egg in the process. You can't say, I'll take away the mother and go and sell. No, you have to allow the mother to carry on and so on. Similarly, you're optimizing your taxes. You're working with the business sector and the, uh, the household sectors in a way that they, they, they must pay what, they, what, what is required, but that without uh, destroying what they do for a living and so on. Okay. Dominations are okay. Lamentations are sometimes okay. What we expect from him is the steady voice of hope, which he started with. But now he can't remain in this statistical, it's a, it's a narrow scope. Uh, that should, should now be delegated to somebody else. We, we like the, the uh, presentation, but that pre presentation, if he's the one doing it, he should now, let's hear something that is broader. The frontier is new, and he too should be able to say what he, what he thinks the, the impact of COVID is going to be on the economy. And therefore, when he says that, he throws a challenge to his colleague in Treasury who should also be picking it up. He'll see what he has said publicly. But certainly, we want uh, health diplomacy around the vaccine, vaccine availability. We want him to comment on, doctor, on medical strikes that are coming uh, of the type, rather, that, that we are getting. He can't be silent about that. And no leader should be silent about it. And no leader should throw the ping pong and say, oh, that's a, a county government affair. No, it isn't, because it affects all of the, including national ones. Th that would be my message. Uh, Otherwise, uh, I wish them a good end of the year, and uh, I am seeking to be governor of Busia in 2022. So uh, we will be continuing our conversation with my people over the holiday. Wish them well. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank the show again is Tipping Point. I'm your host, Lincoln Umbogo. Our sign language interpreters are Michael Mathieu and Tracy Dorcas. My guest tonight will help us dissect this quagmire of the COVID-19 and the BBI that, you know, seems to be taking too much pressure. 
on my right, very far right, is Nudin Kagaya, lawyer and gov governance expert, and the Council North Member of Parliament, uh, James Kakuya, and uh, Charles Bilali, a politician. Gentlemen, thank you for creating time. The question of the day, should Treasury <coughs> fund the referendum? But before we answer that, we've listened to what Nambale Member of Parliament, uh, John Sakwe Bunyasi, had to say today. Ryla's tweet sparked a lot of uproar on social media and among us Kenyans. Doctors are still losing lives today. We enter day four of doctor's strike. Now, Ryla's statement on, on doctors to stop the strike and care for health workers coming from Ryla Odinga. Is that fair? Is that fair? Uh, you see, Wambogo, uh, let me tell you one thing, that uh, we missed somewhere when we were amending the, our constitution in 2010 because uh, the doctors themselves has to work like uh, the armies. They are not supposed to strike. So we missed a point somewhere, and we must correct it with the BBA. And that's all. Because there is no way that at this point, doctors can strike and we have the COVID on place. It cannot be. So it is a matter of them joining the race, then start working. Because let me tell you again, uh, those people who made the, uh, my friends who made the, whatever, this constitution, 2010 constitution, in fact, they messed around. Because we don't even, we are not allowed to give them a room to strike. Normally, the army guys, the people in uniform, and the people in uniform include even the doctors, they are not supposed to strike. And in fact, that, that thing should be revisited by this BBI. Honorable Kukui, uh, please respond to him. He, be, uh, Honorable Bilala seems to agree with Rylo Denga. Do you agree with Honorable Bilala and Rylo Denga? I have my own uh, reservation. That uh, <coughs> Bilala is very correct. Uh, there is a team in our field that does not require to move to strike. Mm. Even our teachers does not have to go to strike. Was during those old times that uh, we were learners, we never witnessed any single day teachers going moving to strike, and that's why the discipline was very high. Today, the discipline is very poor within that particular field of running. Why? Because the teacher is in is in a strike with people outside there, and it's like nobody can be able to control the other. Nobody can be able to tell the, the student that this is wrong or bad. Therefore, uh, that particular uh, discipline has costed us a lot in our learning uh, uh, systems. Number two, what we should do as a nation is also to make sure that we have put measures that actually take, are taking care to our doctors, our nurses, so that even though we put a caveat that they are not in the category of those strikes, then we are, we, we are in a position that we are not humiliating them in their line of duty. That anything to do with the PPE, I am asking a very simple question myself. We have very large sums of money by the names of making billionaires of COVID. The area that actually was in this particular element or Kogimaya is Kemsa, who is charged by the law, by, 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 our, by our Ministry of Health to take the serious concern of our 47 number of counties in terms of supplying medicines. Listen, one thing. This is an agency within the ministry. Government funds this agency every other day. This agency should do the best to make sure that Healthy sector receives the cheapest product because that's why they are there, funded by the government using government funds and taxpayers' money. But instead of that, it has become the worst institution or the worst agency that is putting our country when we, we, we are at the highest, highest need of it to do the best to make sure that our lives are safe, are safe in terms of fighting this. Uh, pandemic. So, uh, Honorable Kukui, to some extent, it, it, to some extent, it, it, no, you agree it, it, with Bilali it, 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 No, Odinga. it's simple, it's simple. I just want to finalize and say, mm -hmm. yes, 
we are we have those fields that should be taxed not to commit strikes but we must make sure that we have mechanisms, methodologies to make sure that they are working uh, fields are well taken care of and they are at a conducive environment so Very for good. now so for now uh uh, what no, 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 what the, uh, this gentleman is saying is that we do not have in place uh, to cause the constitution that uh, you know uh, can subject doctors to go on strike so they can go on strike allow me to play the devil's advocate uh -huh. and say this before they are doctors they are human beings and before they are teachers they are human beings and they have families you know there's a saying in English that people say treat me like a joke and I leave it like it's funny. So the doctors have for years tried to negotiate a way how their work will be done and for the payment. Each and every single government that comes into office, we have the same issue with the teachers, the same issue with the doctors. Can't we have a solution where we solve this? And that stems straight from the leadership crisis that we are suffering as a nation, where clearly the political class, I will not call them leaders because they don't fit in that category. The political class are so concerned with selfish interest that they fail to understand what matters the most. Do you know when they say health is wealth, when you, when you propagate or when, when, you, when you're so concerned with a certain document, thinking about an election at, or a precursor to an election in 2022, where there is no health, no one will vote for that document. Or where there is no health, no one will vote for you to become a member of parliament, a president, or a governor. So before you even think about a referendum, before you even think about 2020, you see the problem we face in Kenya is that we are not development conscious. Every single person who gets into office thinks about the next election, not about service delivery. The manifesto they sang during campaigns are used as either uh, mats on tables or they're put in shelves. So we have a leadership crisis. We don't have leaders. And if we have, there are so few because they can't be had. So the political class who only champion selfish gains via the BBI document, which to me is not a necessity right now. Let me ask you, uh, Newton, legally, can doctors go on strike? Yes, they can. Morally? You say they're not supposed to. They're not supposed to. Yeah, even Nurdin is a Muslim and he knows. Let me, let, let me tell you something. I'll, t I'll tell you this. You see, for them to get there, what has led them there? One, no one is hearing them. How many doctors have we lost? Do you know it, trains, it takes almost 15 years to train a specialist? How many have we lost? And now we are being told, the other day you're hearing the CS saying how they're going to give cast to Cuban doctors. Have, haven't we lost the plot? A Cuban doctor who is maintained for with one million Kenyan shillings. Have we, haven't we lost the plot somewhere? Let me now ask, Honorable Gakuya, since you're here and you're a parliamentarian, you're in office, why are you legislators finding it hard to pass bills that provide medical covers for doctors? Has that been on the floor on, of the House lately? Now you're in recess. Uh, let me say that, in fact, uh, that particular area has been taken care of because uh, I believe there was a bill which was learning issues to do with uh, that particular area, but that bill is not yet a law. So I do, cannot be able to remember whether it is in the second reading or whether it is in the third reading, reading uh, due uh, to this uh, uh, displacement of uh, this uh, pandemic. It has not been very, very constant to, be, to follow exactly uh, what is happening because even the size of the house has been very small uh, and has been forcing most, uh, most of us, if we are not part of those who are lucky to be inside, then to... <laughs> to uh, follow from outside, or else from the cameras. Uh, but I would say it is not everything must be anchored into law. Wisdom tells me a wise man always takes care. And you, don't know, you are not supposed to take care, and especially a care for, assume you are the head of the uh, the head of your house, then you know you are married. You know where you are pinning down. You are even you are you are you are you are watchman. Even you are uh, even of your staff. And you don't require to have a biblia or what you call a constitution to run that affair. In this particular area of uh, health care, 
and also our learning systems. I think we must come out of this because we have marked, we have marked time in long time, and I can tell you, uh, we, it's like we are waiting for angels to come to fix these things. Who is going to? But fix these things this? must be fixed by human beings. Uh, let me tell, and, and I can tell you one reason. I'd like you to allow, champion this. Allow me. Allow, I would like you to I, I, I think I think Mbogo Mweshimiwa. I respect Mweshimiwa. Yes, very much. And Mweshimiwa, I think we should now leave this behind and uh, let us not play business. You know, sometimes when I see you there, of course you are my mentor. But when I see you there, provoking other things and doing businesses. And not, you know, do you know why these doctors are on strike? They are on strike because you people, you left just the, the scandal of uh, the cancer. Just it went cool that, that way. That's why these people are even bringing this, 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 whatever, this strike. Because we have a lot of money in Kenya. You didn't, don't say that we don't have money. We have a lot of money. This money that was stolen, it was stolen in the hands of the cancer. But the, the MPs who are supposed to, to oversight and do their roles, they are, not, uh, they are not doing their roles. So it is now for them to open their eyes and they are thinking the way uh, uh, our lawyer has said, so that they can uplift their whatever, their, their, their businesses in the house. Let them now focus on the camps, the corruption guys. We have got a lot of cartels. Uh, striving out money. We have a lot of money. We are, we are millionaires, billionaires in Kenya. But doctors are there. They are striking because this money, somebody is with the money in the pocket. <laughs> now, do you, do you gentlemen think that uh, uh, the government is handling the COVID-19 situation with the seriousness it, des it deserves? One, uh, let, 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 let me say that, in fact, uh, because we are living in this particular country, we are not living uh, in the universe. The government is doing very little. Very little. Today, the solution of getting out of this pandemic is not to. It is for us to engage with those mm. those, ex, those those experts. Those has come to age of what we call vaccine. Yes, and today we should be reasoning how are you get uh, getting that vaccine in our in our midst so that people can get injected and have assurance that they are going to live. They are going to survive. But in Guinea, every data, every evening, data tells is, why is the data going to cure Kenya? You must be getting, giving Kenya solutions. But we have, we have uh, uh, complied with every, 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 every other um, um, uh, conditionality. We have uh, worn ma masks. We have done distance, social distance. We have done everything. But still, this pandemic is still within us. So the so next what, step is the vaccine. Next, we need to move to vaccine like yesterday. And that Why? opposition is not Yes, there. if that is, this is covering the 95% risk, then what are we waiting? That's where we should be. No, yes. You see, the problem is... The government. The problem is uh, our government is preoccupied with BBI. Uh -huh. That's a sad reality. And COVID happens to be an afterthought. And that's a problem. Other countries are purchasing the vaccines. We're trying to spend 14, 15 billion on a, doc, on a BBI and on a referendum. And then today the IBC says they will verify the signatures after they are given funds. So that tells us, so the health of the Kenyan, human, the Kenyan, the Kenyan citizen isn't as important as a referendum. So we are asking ourselves, is this a government of the people, by the people and for the people? Your answer is no. Because clearly they don't, they are out of touch with reality. Right now you're talking about in the next few days, schools will open. They said on 4th of January, right? Have they taken measures to make sure the schools are safe for children? And I keep saying this. Ha, ha, most of the children even use public transport. How are they going to go to school? When kids are in school, they share something as little as a lollipop or a bottle of water. Have they taken that in consideration? So we are busy here talking about a referendum or you, you can't even be talking about a vision 2030 with no one to succeed you to 2030 because if people die, then who's, who are you making no, no, the country no. for? <laughs> thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, gentlemen. Well, with that, we now take a short commercial break. Well, the conversation continues immediately after this short commercial break. Don't touch the dial.
Welcome back. The show is Stepping Point. I'm your host, Lincoln Umbogo, sign language interpreters of Michael Mife here and Tracy Dorcas. My guest tonight on the far right is Nudin Kagai, uh, a lawyer and governance expert, no, Ember County North Member of Parliament, Honorable uh, James Kakuya, and Charles Bilali, a politician. Now, question of the day, should Treasury fund the referendum? Let's take a look at what uh, IBC uh, Chairperson Chebukati had to say about that. Now proceed and request for a budget for the national treasury. As soon as we get the budget and the exchequer, then we shall now get a team. Our team is already available. We have a referendum committee which will undertake the exercise of uh, signature verification. Sending your feedback to our SMS line triple one triple four triple one at Switch TV Kenya and at Link on Obogo. We are live on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Gentlemen, that is Wafula Chapukati. No verification of signatures yet. We've collected about five point two of them. Should now we can answer the political uh, the question of the day. Should Treasury fund the referendum? Noted. No. No. Simple. No. You Simple. know why? You you want to say why? Yeah, you know why okay. I say why. Let's start from this. The way the signatures were collected, there's uh -huh. an issue. There are issues raised on duress and coercion. If at all they can be proved, that's an illegality. That's number one. Then number two, this marshalling we have seen and this uh, grouping so as to uh, have the signatures verified and get funds from the Treasury. Why can't we have the same grouping in getting vaccines for COVID? Okay. The answer is no. And big no. no. Priorities first. This country is alien, and we must fix areas where we are going wrong, because our train is out of the rail. And let me tell you, it has already taken, lost control. And unless the pilot, the, the driver is very keen, uh, it's going to crumble. So it's high time that we must fix our problems first. Here we have ahead of us the doctors, nurses, and doctors strike. Here. We have what we call a fixed date of 4th that our children are uh, intended to, uh, to, uh, uh, to, to get back to school. Preparations require budgets. We don't like to cheat each other. The president has urged the CDFs to take care of making sure that actually the, the, the structures are expanded and everything. But there is no single penny from Treasury to that kitty to enable it, help or assist in that manner. So what is... Important is that this particular student who is getting back to school, whom we should take care of how these children will get back to school or seek to fix our doctors and make sure that our doctors are safe in their line of duty or is it the BBI? The BBI, is it coming with a cure of our thirst? Because surely Kenya is now, I can tell you, it's, it's totally eating and the cancer we are in is economic cancer. Is it going to seek our 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 our, our, our areas of deficit? Beloved. First, I think should treasury should treasury fund a referendum. Uh, before I answer that, mm. let me go back to Nudin. Nudin, uh, the signatures that were collected, I can uh, attest this that I was there, and I even contributed. I signed for this document. I've been going the same way with the His Excellency William Ruto, but this one we are differing. And in fact, even he, him, where he is sitting, he knows this. That uh, again, I say yes, I say yes for this BBI. Why? It has got a legal, a good legal mechanism to solve out these impunities that we have been seeing. One, let us go back to 2007. We were all here. We saw what happened. Again, again it is not Kakuya, Mwishmiwa Kakuya, and Bilali only, and, and not them. These people were championing for these people, uh, for this, this document, which is called BBI. Uh, they have been, they have been uh, vice president. They have been big people. In fact, they are, others have, have even contested in pre presidential whatever uh, election in this country. And they are not refusing. Why should we refuse an ideology that has uh, been brought by the His Excellency, the President, who is the leader, 
who is the leader of this country? We are not against bad timing. Do you no. know, why, why, do you know no. why, we, why we should refuse? Because no. you have our own brain. Because Kenya is not migrating. Kenya is not going to want to, 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 to be... To, 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 Mishmu, but to I'm be still responding. So, so, and let so, me tell so, you. So what Mishmu is saying that is I am that saying that this Kenya, process is rushed. I am telling you Kenya can still be there after 10 years because we are not in vacuum of constitution. It's a rush process. We are That's not in saying. a constitution of vacuum it's a rush as a process. nation. It's Therefore, is it a we have process? not even implemented what we have currently to the letter. Mwesh, which area we is have this, is this a rush We are rushing process? it as if 2022 is the end of Kenya. It's, it's not. It's beyond it rush process. It's beyond, it's beyond being rushed. There is so much force and bravado. We under, if this thing is a people centered thing, the people's views need to be aired. You know, let me tell you something. You're talking about building bridges, you're talking about unity. A referendum creates the opposite of that because a yes and no. If they know, if any of those two loses, they feel aggrieved. They will say, for example, I lost to these guys. So they will have something against them. You know, when you talk about solving historical historical issues, historical issues isn't about an election where there's a winner and a loser. That is, the, that is how life is. In life, you either win or you lose or you learn. Now, what we need to do, if you want to solve the issues that are facing Kenyans, it is not about the constitution, it's not about the citizens, it is about the leaders. If you want to talk about, let's say, ethnicity, it is with the leaders. And the president himself said the other day, Bumas, they are the issue with ethnicity. If you want to solve issues with deceit, and conmanship in politics, it is with them, not with the voter. So I tell the voter, 2022, be wise enough. Elect someone who is better than the breed we have seen. You know, we need to have a radical surgery of our political scene, dating back to 1963. If you want to shape out the deceit, the conmanship, it starts from there. Let me tell you, no, doc no single document will solve what we have seen. We need to raise the bar on integrity. That is the only way we can get leaders of integrity. Why are you rushing this process? No, we are not rushing this, uh, this Wombogo. These gentlemen seem to... We are know. not rushing. It is them that th 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 they are advocating to stop this thing. Let me tell you, BBI can still continue in parallel with w what the doctors are, say, are, are complaining about. This, I told you before, Mr. Wombogo, that this country is rich. It is only that these, these MPs who are there... They are, they are not, they are not doing their, their role. They are giving the treasury mandates of even over borrowing, over borrowing out. But, but so the, they are not doing the job. Now, now the question begs. Wafula Chibukati says that no money, no verification. But allow, do we allow, have allow that money? Also, do allow, we have allow, that allow money? Allow me just to respond to my brother. Mm -hmm. My brother is very much aware, and he lives in this particular country known Kenya. He knows what politics are. And let me tell you, the mistake we are in is that we have made parties to be the kingship, the kingship to control even to muscle the parliament. So your parliament has no power today. It has been muscled by the party owners. And let me tell you, we have given parties a lot of power that it controls even the membership of that house. That's why I'm vying. And, I'm and, vying let me tell you, and, and the worst position we are in, we have allowed the executive to mitigate the house. How can house be impartial? How can it be dependent? A house controlled from above. Gentlemen, it's answer my question first. Yeah. Do we have money? Man Mufula doesn't have that money. Chebukati doesn't have that money. We have, have, have the money. Let, 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 let me say this. Money for BBI will there. be found. I am telling you because this is a fish. This is a fish that actually people somewhere actually have made sure that it is a, it is a project. And therefore, any other budget, including the PBE's budget, is going to be closed. But let me tell you, Uchebukate will get the budget in next week to start this process. Let me, let me, let me tell you something. Uh -huh. The issue is not the money. It's like saying you're, you're, you're rich or you're, you're a rich man with children and you allow them to misuse your money just because you have money. That is not the issue. The issue is, is the money going to serve the interest of the people? Is the money going where it is most needed? That is the question. Because if you want to, if you want to act, if the government is, is on a penny-wise, pound-foolish kind of mechanism, then we're losing the plot as a, as, a, as, a, as a country. I would say this. There are more pressing issues, more pertinent issues than what... You see, changing the constitution or amending the constitution, let me use the right one, amending the constitution, isn't uh, so pressing right now. Why do I say that? We have one of the most forward thinking constitutions in the, in the history of this world. They have failed to implement the constitution. 
they have failed to observe even court orders and now suddenly they have realized oh what is ailing us is a document that you have not even implemented and you want to come up with solutions you know the issue is not even with, with, the, with the amendments the issue is a software you see this leaders never change their software you see if it's the same monkey different forest so if you say for example let's amend this and whoever comes into office doesn't implement that so where are we go? so we'll have another amendment Bilala, and another one. Oh, Bilala is saying that. Uh, uh, like I said, I'll tell you, Kibaki, Kibaki, yeah. Kibaki ruled this country when you were here. Yeah. And let me tell you, he ruled this country for 10 years using a dictatorial constitution that actually committed this country to an imperial president. But Kibaki ruled this country democratically. And let me tell you, the Kibaki's 10 years created a room of the new constitution, but nobody had any. In the, in, 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 in anything on his mind that there is any, any need of that particular constitution. Therefore, I'm trying to say, positions, it is not the positions which are which have issues. It is individuals that we elect, that we appoint to those positions. Because if a person decides to be imperial, to become a dictator, Uhuru is enjoying a constitution that is so democratic, but he has totally changed the face. Now, he has turned to be somebody else. What, 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 what Bilale was saying, he, he seems to say that uh, you're advocating for a stop of the BBI process and a referendum. Is that true? I am saying that, in fact, what we are saying is that if we are setting and putting the priorities of this country first, BBI should be closed and kept on a locker. Like what Kibaki did in 2010 when the constitution was promulgated, but Kibaki decided not to implement it then. And put it on a local until 2020, 2012. Then we need such wise leaders. Because Kibaki knew that this new constitution carries burden of budgets. And Kibaki could not manage to do some of his pending bills with that particular uh, 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 monster known as the new constitution. Wambogo, can I, can I, can I? What, what I want you to respond to is this the BBI Secretariat uh, claims that uh, no more suggestions. Yeah, of course. No more suggestions. Well, uh, DP Ruto's suggestions, 70% of them were taken. Now he made more suggestions. Religious leaders have made more suggestions. Other leaders have made more suggestions. Are we going to have a consensus? Uh, Mr. Mbogo, I think we were all here. We don't live in Tanzania or Sudan. We were here. Mishmilo was here. My good brother was here. You are also here. When they said that it is now time for you guys to come and bring your issues. In fact, I was the first one to take my issues there, isn't it? To make sure that we have, uh, you, you know, like now when you are dr you're driving from, from one part of Msambweni to another part, seeking voters, uh, uh, vo uh, voters to vote for you, then these people from this end to that end it is many kilometers so it is like you know where he comes from it is just you can even do your campaign with motor 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 bike but me i go far then i wanted it to be splitted in fact it was captured in the bbi so he is even enjoying the same and when we capture that we get some leaders or elected on the, on that area then the, of course the development will uh, will occur on that on that whatever but they are different they are differing with the minds of two people i know where they stand they are differing with the minds of two people they are saying how can two people bring us a document then uh, that they have just cooked to the table remember this person these two individuals one is the president of this republic of kenya another one is the the, uh, the, uh, the leader of opposition in this country. If he says tomorrow there will be a strike, I'm telling you, Wambogo will not come to this place. If he says that, that opposition leader, I'm not advocating but, but for him. But is he no. going to do it democratically? I'm not or, advocating for yes. him. Yes, what I believe no, that let we, let are not, we are, we are not at a jungle. No, I, I, I'm, 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 we don't believe that this, I, that, this I, I, can, can I, I, th I think, Mishimiwa, we were in the same group when we were, of course, doing this thing. And I voted for that line, which you know. And this time, in fact, I'll differ with you, because these people, these people, in fact, they, they sat down. 
and decided no we are killing each other why this is the document that we let this document forge ahead then i'm telling you next week doctors what will are, have solution what are the new i'm telling you no, no, next no. week doctors will oh, have beloved, solution you haven't answered my question yet are we going to have a consensus yes of course you think we're going to have a consensus? yes so this process might be delayed which one the the, the whole referendum process if no, 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 no 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 again. no 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 let me tell you we are not going to damascus in the bible damascus the only person who went to damascus is one single person we are going to canaan we are with the people we are with the mass going to canaan with this document we are not going to damascus you people you have been t uh, t uh, writing that we are going to damascus da remember one thing that in the bible only one individual entered damascus we don't want to go that way in fact this round i'll differ with them he says he says we'll have a consensus Nika. then what's the matter no, I, then <laughs> if really we are uh, telling and convincing kenyans mm -hmm that actually we are very truthful and very faithful with what we are advocating. Then surely, why are we seeing elements of some kind of uh, ill motive? Because we are finding a situation where not everybody is given a free playing ground in as far as the drive for this particular document is concerned. It's like it belongs to some people. Do you, do you want to say that actually the rest team which is not part of it does not belong to Kenya and has no, no. clue of what Wambo, is happening. Wambo, uh, Wakili, Wakili, let me respond to, that, to him. Just a moment. Uh -huh. In fact, yeah, we saw that. We saw it. Some, in fact, I reacted again. Also me, I reacted saying, oh, is this document for this party? He knows. Then I said, no, this can't be. Then we went again ahead and rectified this thing. Let me tell you, it is the habit of somebody. You remember when, when uh, uh, the by-election was here in uh, Kibra? Uh, somebody going and snatching a cape of somebody. That one is not right, you see? And again, it is, you know, again, uh, the, I, can, I can now request the president to maybe give somebody to whatever to avoid that thing because uh, I think Mwashimi Wajunet is not he, 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 he cannot uh, ride there because in fact these people the other guys who are at the no side they are they are saying no because of Mwashimi Wajunet in fact Mwashimi Wajunet should, should change I believe should have, change his habit I believe you have read that because, uh, because no he should the change DBI. his habit because he is the, the is the is the main man making these guys to now die back. No, no no I don't think so but Mwashima Bilala, you have read the BVI. Yes. For, for you to uh, strongly put out that you really support this document, is it 100% proper? Of course, a document cannot a be 100% proper. What percentage do you think is good and what percentage do you think is bad? Uh, it is, uh, I, I think I'll give it uh, something like 80% is proper. Uh -huh. Yes. And the 20%, uh, uh, how, how is it going to affect Kenyans? Uh, the 20%, of course, we, you know, a document cannot be 100% What if proper? that is the 20% that they won't recognize? No, let me tell you. Let well, me tell you. Have a, okay. We have a but fine, fine, but, 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 but the train has left with a speed of 500 kilometers per hour. Well, it uh, cannot be stopped at 2021. Let me just this say this. This does not matter. Allow me, uh, allow me to say something before you come to my good friend. I have no problem with the BBI. The wagon is already out of the... Uh, out of the uh, 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 manga and it has already uh, departed. But let me tell you, if we are rushing this purposely because of some intentions, I would just say this. Mm -hmm. We may force Kenyans for something that is not supposed to be at, to, 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 to be at this particular moment. Unless somebody is a, is a stranger in Kenya, is the only person who can persuade us to move to implement BBI. Those are the big question. The country is in economically with the debts, which are now heading to, 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 to what we call lead flag, and at the tune of month, uh, yearly payment of more than a trillion. And uh, our domestic correction are below two trillion. What magic are we going to get from BBI to enable Kenyans to bear out those burdens of debt? Are we putting this this nation first, surely. Are we considering that BBI is burdens? 
and these burdens we are going to top up to the burdens we are in today. Because nobody can teach, teach us that with 640 members of parliament, it's not an added bargain, added, added baggage. Bargain. To bring a prime minister is not an added baggage. You can tell us that there's no any added benefit from the salary, but he will enjoy other allowances hidden, I can tell you. Let me tell you, this is a donkey which I don't know whether it will be able to walk again. And there is, if there is any, any miracle elsewhere, any secret weapon that we don't know. But if this country today it cannot bear the issue of doctors, it cannot give us a solution to the opening of schools. What assurance do they have that after implementing BBI, that all what the BBI is talking about is coming to, uh, to, to, to see the light of the day? No, the no, doctors will be sorted. No, 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 yes. uh, BBI was meant to um, bring the people of Kenya together. Yeah. What has it done? More good or bad? It's divided the nation. And I'll tell you why. You see, when you force for a yes and no referendum, you're only solving whatever you're trying to solve in your mind. Because at the end of the day, a yes and no referendum is a campaign that leads to winners and losers. What happens to the losers? You know, uh, as we talk about bringing people together, now you know uh, they are saying the, the train has left the station. Where is it going to? You see, if at all the BBI is for the people, because you know, uh, an amendment constitution, is either via the people or championed by a politician. Now the problem is ours is championed by politicians, which means it's more or less about them, not the people. Because if at all you are doing it for the people, why do you need to rush? Why the sudden bravado? Why the chest stamping? You see, I, I take issue with certain issues, and I'll tell you for free. You see, when someone tells me, for example, uh, my heart just bled when I heard him say uh, how President and and uh, right on our Prime Minister came together. They they decided on a BBI document. We should listen to that. And then how he can call for a strike, which is true. And tomorrow there'll be a strike. That shows me what we have, how we have failed as a citizenry. We have given our power to individuals, Religious. and we need to take back the power. Then there is no way one person can determine whether I go to work tomorrow or not. There is no way one person will determine what is good for me without asking me, what do you think, Nordin? We need to take back the power via the vote and not via BBI document. The issues ailing us like historical injustices, like the Kregler report, the Ndungu report, the Waki report, have not been addressed by the document. Uh, our, so I, when I, you go I, there... Our, our listen, time is up. Our time is up. Patting shots, patting shots, patting shots. Jimmy Hurry message for the Kenyans watching in less than 10 seconds. I, I think uh, we Kenyans need to forge ahead and uh, look forward uh, because BBI is a good document and uh, it will it will help Kenyans. And on the other hand, I think we need also to maybe change the marketer who is marketing this BBI because maybe he can be having some issues with the other guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry to cut you short. Uh, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll just tell Kenyans, observe the document very well, and uh, just decide whether you are ready to top up, top up the baggage. Top up the baggage means you go extra mileage. The, you do not expect the sugar to go to, to, to get to, to, to get cheaper tomorrow. Hunger, everything, except those commodities to rise up because they must sustain the budget you are going to top up. Think twice before you commit yourself. Newton. I will say this. Very short. I will say this that this is our country. This is our land. We are not servants. We own the land. We do what is best for you and what is best for us. And to the youth, you should know that liberation is the duty of the youth. It is your time. Thank you, gentlemen. Political quote of the day by Christian Nestle Bove. Political aspirants make too much of the people before an election. And if successful, too much of themselves after it. They use the people when they want to rise as we treat a spirited horse when we want to win a race. For a time we pat the animal upon the neck and speak him softly, but once in the saddle, then come the weep and the spa. That's by Christian Bovey. Many thanks for tuning in. Remember, this, uh, the opinions shared today are not of Switch TV, <laughs> but those of uh, the panelists. The conversation continues next Thursday. Many thanks for watching. Good evening. My name is Lincoln Obugo, sign language interpreters, or Michael Mathia and Tracy Dorcas.